Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age 2 where I was messing with the tactics as you'll see up in that corner. It is like Origins, which is I'm, I'm used to now, so it'll be nice. We, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. I did, I did Aveline's. And, but hers was, they, they were already all mostly done. And I don't have a whole heck of a lot of abilities, so this is what I have so far. Put in to use a health potion, so we'll see how long our health potions last now. Uh, and I need Fenris. Oh, and she's def I changed her to defensive instead of tank, and he's aggressive. His 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 preset was scrapper, but I you know I changed it. So I gave him a health potion. He's got a lot of sustainedish type abilities, but not a whole lot of active abilities. So that's what we've got so far, and then. Varric has got these. Wow, look at that. Okay, so if his self health is lower than 10%, use a health potion. I guess I could do uh, stamina ones. Oh, his preset is controller and he's ranged. Um, Let's see, I'll just maybe self, man, or health, stamina is less than 10, use, use a stamina, sure, we'll see how that goes, Varric, um, pretty sure that he's using all his, Pinning shot, evade, heal. Yeah, he is. Um, speed. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just activate speed. I don't think he's. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Okay. Why not? We'll see how that goes. But we are going to angry refugee. Um. Uh oh. This doesn't look pleasant. Can I help you? Hey, we heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. I'm not from this town! It ain't gonna happen oh, to shoot. Him. I actually meant to take away uh, Aveline and Fenris. Does this really seem like a good idea? Let's show these folks a little Ferelden. I am Ferelden! Oh my gosh. I don't. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there's so many! Oh, but they're not very good. I keep also meaning to actually, um. The thing you do with your hand. I can already tell. Yeah, this is the one where you punch pleasant. through people? I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. What? The thing you do with your hand? Is that the punching through people thing that you do? I need to trade out my peoples, so. Can I? I don't know if I can. Tra I can't trade them from here. Let's. Okay, hang on. Let me make sure. Um. Boom. Right. So nobody wants me to talk to them. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, so if I take those out, will it be easier for me to wander around Darktown or whatever? I wish I could fast travel. But we need to go to Dark Town. Where do I live? I don't know where I'm going. Okay, let's go. We'll go to my house really quick. 
and then and then we'll we'll bring our mages and go find it. okay we'll bring Varric for sure and Bethany and Meryl we'll see how this goes too much fighting might not be no good. Fenris might be... I've, I've heard that Fenris and Anders actually... They like... Uh, verbally spar a lot. So it would be interesting. It would be interesting to bring Fenris and see what he thought. But... Pee. I just need to make sure to go talk to all my pals. Oh, man. Oh, okay, wait. We gotta follow the lit lanterns? Is that what we're doing? Lanterns. This could be this pool. Eh. Why a lit lantern? Oh, gather... Oh, is that why... Is this where Anders is staying? Okay, let's actually, let's save really quick. And I actually do want to bring Fenris and see what he thinks. Uh, okay. But, whoa, 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 you guys are like on top of each other. Anders! I know he's the, I know he's supposed to be different this time around, but I don't know. He was always a spirit healer. Oh boy. this place a sanctum of healing Whoa. and salvation why do you threaten it i just walked in uh strange occupation for a warden aren't you more about taint and death not healing and salvation haha uh -huh. did the warden send you to bring me back i'm not going what those bastards made me get what? rid of my what? Cat. No, I didn't. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. He hated the deep. What road. the heck? You had a cat named Sir Pounce a lot. I wouldn't have done that. Dorothy wouldn't have done that. He was a gift, a noble beast. <laughs> Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the <laughs> bugger on the nose, drew blood. <laughs> the blighted warden said he made me too soft. What? I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. I love that mark on her That's face only now. That's partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. Interesting that he's a war- I didn't but know he was a Warden. You well, I mean, and, you know. You don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. <laughs> so you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a you small You are constantly thing. trying to escape. Yes. I'm here because there's no warden outpost, no darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. Um... I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted yeah. Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested. Although, a favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a warden what? map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend, a mage. Prisoner in the wretched Shouldn't have brought Fenris. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. What do the Templars know of your plans? 
I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. Uh-oh. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes. It's true. And dress they said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the maker for mages to live as free as other men. Hmm. I doubt the divine would agree with that. The divine is only a mouthpiece for the chantry. The maker does not speak through her. He doesn't speak through you Ooh. either. Never mind. I do not seek debate. Only your aid. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Feckler. He was sent here from Ferelden when Kirkwall Circle required new oh, talent. Oh, odd. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the circle into a prison. Yeah. Majors are locked in their <gasps> cell. Refused appearances at court. Made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. brought Bethany. Over a dozen were made tranquil what? just this year. That is excessive. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. I'll probably come back with, um... Bethany. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Maker willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone He's who gotten much more serious. deserves death without questioning. As just oh, as I did bring Bethany. Is, it scares me. I don't want to give the Templars another reason to hunt us. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make a willing. We will all leave free men. Whoa! I got up friendship with... Fenris? Wow! Is that because I did the central route? Uh, I guess I won't worry about it. Carl won't be able to get away until it's dark. It's not gonna go well. Meet me at the Chantry at night. His point. voice has changed. Oh, uh, History of Kirkwall. Followed by Civil War on Antiva, and the much maligned Three Queens era, and the Coons have been appearing with the Dark Angel bringing a devastating change. Ah, is that what, that's what Flemeth and Morgan keep saying, is that there's change coming and people are afraid. Perhaps it's a heist estimate, but it was true for Kirkwall, to Vicious Thug, to Cryer, the Canadian St. Perrin, who succeeded him, was worse. Use the ancient chains since the, to block sea traffic. Holy crap. The Empire threatened invasion following the closure of the Waking Sea Passage, and for the first time, the Chantry used Templars to pressure the Viscount. To the point, Templars did not encounter the Viscount, even though the large armed force of Kukwara, the Kukwara, Knight Commander Guidelines, only written comment was in a letter to Divine Beatrix III. It is not our place to interfere in political affairs. We are here to safeguard the city against magic, not against the South. The Divine is a friend of the Emperor, clearly had other ideas. In response, Viscount Perrin hired a mercenary army, forcing a showdown with Templars. They stormed the gallows and hung him! Igniting a series of battles that ended with Perrin's arrest and the last of his family's rule, the Templars were hailed as heroes, and even though they wished to remain out of Kirkwall's affairs, it was now forced upon them. Knight Commander Merith appointed Lord Marlo Dumar as the new Viscount in 921 Dragon, and she has remained influential in the city ever since. Oh boy! That's not good. That is not good. You start giving Grey Wardens too much influence, and then they start doing things that they maybe shouldn't. Uh, okay, we really probably shouldn't bring Fenris for this. As interesting as it would be. And probably not Aveline either. I think with Bethany, I'm we're gonna be fine. Meryl, I think we'll be fine. And Varric, I think we'll be fine. I am going to save again. Mm, yeah. Okay, and we need to go out. Such a dismal place. Okay. 
it's down. Oh, is this, is this the way I came in? Oh, it is. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, we want to go. We want to go to the chantry, right? At night. But um. Uh, high town night. Oh, okay. So I can do that. Um. Anders Clinic. So he'll be like chilling there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we haven't been to the chantry yet. We haven't been in there. But I have a, I think, yeah, I have Sister Patrine's ashes or something. Oh! Oh! Power relative to your current level. Two stars and eight basic equipment for your level. Okay. Look at that. So we're gonna go east away. Chantry, Coria, we just popped into the Chantry? It's so quiet here after dark. Huh. Once the nobles are out of the way. The people we're meeting. I'm not sure who's worse, the apostate or the Templars. Oh, look at... I wish I didn't need either of them. What's this? A memorial of sorts? Whoa. It's quite impressive. Let's see, nothing glowing? Okay. Um, there's somebody to talk to over there. But we will go up here... Whoa! People! Hey! I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? He waited. I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. So we're gonna have to talk him out of it, or what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, are you saying we're gonna drag him out, or...? can stealth across the battlefield like a little cat. When we find Carl, just let me talk okay. to him. Okay. I won't say nothing. Are we gonna fight? I feel like we're fighting. Any second now. Should we go up? I think so. Yeah. Up. Wow. Is that an Andraste? Jeez. Uh, we want to go in here. Okay. Hello, Carl! Carl. Why are there beds in here? Just open out beds. Hey, you wanted to talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious. <gasps> like you. The Templars knew He's I a tranquil! Made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. No! Oh, what the heck is he? He's acting like Solus. Oh. You will not oh. take another mage as you took him. Oh. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh, he just got possessed! But it wasn't by a bad spirit! I don't, he's blue, he was blue! Oh my gosh! What the heck? I'm a cat! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Do the dirty! Okay, get, get off my pages! I can't see who I'm fighting right now. I, I literally can't see anything. Okay, hang on. Oh, let me um call. No, wait. Call dog, and I have do I have my that yeah I do okay good. Um, who's back here? We have a we have a Templar. We have one right in front of me, I guess. Come on. Okay. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. What is Anders doing? Anders is blue. He's blue. Is it like a benign possession? Like. Like, 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 oh, uh, uh, like a certain person that we've already met, who I don't want to spoil with this. Inquisition for, just in case anybody has played it. Come on. Oh, shit, I thought I meant to do this one. 
Okay, uh, I don't have any. I would go get the archers, but I gotta get rid of these guys off my mages. Uh, no, 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 no. Um. Quick stamina! Ah, I see! Okay. Oh, shoot! What happened to me? What happened to me? Come on! Okay. Stupid dang that Templar archers. What is going on with you? You! I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. Is he... What? Is he tranquil or no? What did you do? Not the Fade part. The angry glowing thing. The angry glowing He was bit. possessed! It's like a gateway to the Fade inside you. Glowing like a beacon. I have some unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. This is what Mother was protecting me from. Yes! The poor man. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought oh, it back, but it's faded. what? Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. You can't. No, we're not going to kill him. Oh, no. I'm not just going to kill him in cold blood, but to let him live a, a half life like that. But there's got to be... It's a video game. There's got to be a way. Oh, I, I want to look it up so bad. You, we can't just... I, mean, I can't just let Anders kill him, you know? That would be bad for Anders. The Tranquil I've met seem content with their lot. Maybe it's not that bad. You have no idea. Your emotions... Your dreams, everything stripped Maybe away Maybe that was bad. That was whim. a bad one. If I were made tranquil, I would wish for a friend compassionate enough to kill me. Carl, I'm sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> We should leave before more Templars come. Oh my gosh! He just... He killed him? That was kind of mean to say about the Tranquil. Well, I, might, I might legitimately go back just because I didn't like the way she said that. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination? You're wrong. But not far wrong. I... Yeah! When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice oh! who was trapped outside oh! the Fade. You, what did you do? We became friends. And he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. But you, at the time, you were like, Oh, bloody, bloody, blah. And that's different than a demon. Oh, by far. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Oh my gosh. Spirits of compassion, <laughs> fortitude, <laughs> justice. Nathaniel was talking about this, they sort the of. They are the first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes? Justice glowing? possesses him! To live outside the Fade, he needed a But host. he had a host. I offered He to had a dead him. body, and then it died. We were going to work together. Bring justice to every Why? child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the circle. You were... But... I guess I had too much anger. Oh, Once you he changed me, him. He He's changed. vengeance now. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head. It's not like that. <gasps> He's gone now. He's living, part of me. Uh, possessing a living it's host. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. 
Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why did he allow justice to possess him? He was not interested in this sort of a thing. No wonder he's like... He's changed! No wonder he's changed! Because now him and Justice are like the same thing. But this is what happens. I mean, Solus and Inquisition says that when you encounter a spirit, like a spirit of wisdom or a justice, your interactions with them um, determine how they turn out almost. Like for, for Solus, spirits of wisdom were spirits of wisdom. But if a spirit of wisdom was brought into this world of its, not of its own volition, or if it interacted with somebody whose heart was not set on like the pure you know learning wisdom it could turn into a, sp a demon of pride you know spirits can and justice said that he hoped he never turned into a demon i remember him talking to and was talking to Anders about it he's like he hopes he never turns into a demon and i don't think he's a demon but i think he's changed not just because he's possessed he's possessed instead of possessing a dead body he's possessed a living body and so they've, and I was kind of wondering, because at the time I was like, you know, it's all well and good, but having two personalities at war on one body is not going to work out well. And so this is apparently what's happened. They've basically merged. That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. Justice needs mercy. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that. I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger... Why were you angry? When I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no he longer is my vengeance. friend, Justice. He is vengeance. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. I like men with dark but... Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might wow. have done. Wow. Can Justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control so it. So Anders isn't a bad dude. Wow, he's... I mean, like, it's not like he's not... But why is he angry? He was never really... I mean, he, he, he probably masked any anger or anything with the joking nature he had in, in Awakening. But... I didn't know he had so much hatred or anything. Um, should I should I start out like that or with the heart? That just sounds so blah. You know what I mean? We'll try. So that explains your whole. Oh Sexy my gosh! <laughs> Perhaps I should check a looking glass more often. <laughs> I had not thought to ever find a woman who would look past what I just said. My maps are yours. As am I, if you wish me to join your expedition. Oh, okay. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens. But if you have I'm any I'm not a need warden. Me, I will be waiting here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're on far opposite ends of the spectrum. Um. Okay, now I want to bring. I want to bring you and you. Wait, I just brought two mages and. Okay. Um. Where do I stand with Anders? We're right in the middle. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about this. 
Vengeance. Oh, Spirit of Vengeance. Hawk support helps Anders maintain his focus. We should help him maintain his focus. Oh. 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 That's not good. <gasps> oh, but that's awesome. Oh, man, this is tough. Okay. Uh, bank. Ah! Level 10. Okay. Ooh, this is. So both sides are gonna be really good. You know what I mean? Not that. Not good. Not that. That's. That's not. Whoa! Uh. Well, let's get that one. Oh boy. Oh wait. Okay. Uh, we pair, we have lots of abilities. He's got so he's got healing. Okay. Uh, he's got mind blast. Um. Oh, and he can do either elemental or primal. But we won't. we okay. Let's focus on these. Can you hear my idiot dog out there? Okay. I can't actually find uh, online the dialogue that that would have that would happen or what what Hawk would say if um, I said don't do it. Don't kill Carl. But, um, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna go back <laughs> and, uh, see how it is. And if it's not, if it's not any better, then I won't worry about it, but. Um. Could give him, maybe should I give him more abilities? Uh, okay. Right. Let's let's give you that. Ooh, let's give you a crushing prison. Um. And he doesn't have entropic energy. Um. Okay. Ooh, yeah! I probably just totally screwed him over, haven't I? I'm sorry, Anders! Odds oh, and Bobkins! Odd. Odd. So weird. It's not a pretty home, but at least it's clean. Your house? All right, well, let's do a new save, and then load, boop, uh, okay. Oh, it auto-saved, but wait, wait. That's, okay, that's after, all right, um. E is that right after or I think that's right before I don't know we'll see so if Anders wasn't a gray warden how would you get the map or how would you how would how would this go down how would acquiring Anders go down oh my gosh he looks so good when he does that ah! <laughs> No, it's fine. It's whatever. I don't care. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Oh, I need stamina. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. See, the thing is, is, like, I respect this. It's like, you... His life is in his hands. He wants to choose how he wants to die. I feel like he shouldn't make somebody else do it, but... Yeah. We'll try it. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Huh. 
I actually think I like this one better. It's not so... Goodbye. I don't know, for my hawk at least, it's not... So... We should leave before more Templars come. I don't know. It's more understanding than just letting them... Because I wouldn't want to live like that either. Like, if that was my... If my hawk was a mage, too, I'd be like, ah, you know? Especially because it wasn't the Tranquil speaking, it was the actual man. And he's, he like, he was basically dead already. You know, what kind of life is it to live where you're not yourself anymore? So... I don't think I'm going to do the romancy thing, because that just... That was kind of weird. Um, but... Uh, I wish I could help. All I, I wasn't expecting that story. I, that's wow. Your problems make mine seem small. Here, these are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me. Well, now what? All right, let's not bring Anders. Um, we'll 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 keep what we've got. So I'm going to I'm going to leave and get him back. Oh, the doors are open. Okay, but I need to talk to him, right? Yeah. I had a friend like you once, <laughs> but in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. Um. What? Broken heart? Jeez. No, I. Yeah. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. <laughs> I just. I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. At least he got a nice body. Uh, that doesn't make it. It does. You did. You did. I mean, you wouldn't have. I mean, you would maybe think, but you're like, yeah, yeah like, it's gotta be better than walking around in a corpse, but. Yeah. The nature of spirits is still so. It's. They just don't. We don't understand them very well, you know? It's not an encouraged, like, thing to learn about, you know? We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. You can only make them with a true heart. Kind, what? wise, and beautiful. <laughs> you must have made a deal with some demons yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like <laughs> I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? No! Uh, wait, uh, what does this mean? Oh boy. <gasps> what does this mean? Why is my heart beating so quickly? This is stupid. <laughs> he sees a lot more charming. I kind of expected him to be the complete opposite, but he's a lot more charming than I expected. I'm just going to say no. Let's just, we'll just go no because that seems like uh, uh we'll just, no. Keep telling me I'm beautiful. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. That's good. Oh, I'm sure I can get more creative. Uh -huh! <laughs> No, I, I shouldn't do this. I don't want to hey, hurt Hey, I you. wasn't saying, like, you know, freaking fall in love with me. I don't mind a little pain. Why would you hurt me? You saw what I did in the Chantry. That's who I am. A year ago. Maybe we no, could have No, a had year something. ago, you were a playboy. But I'm not that man anymore. I'll break your heart. And that might kill me as surely as the time. What? You don't even know me! I mean, you feel like you do, but... Jeez, alright. Well, um, I should call it here because the recording's actually been going on for a long time, even if it doesn't seem like it. But that was very interesting. Like, super interesting. Like, I really... I actually really like this version of Anders. He's a little bit not as, like, gung-ho, like, crazy, like, playboy... 
funny man 24-7. He's a little more mature. I like that. I am gonna need... I'm having a hard time. I know. I don't have to pick... I don't have to pick anybody right now. I'm just keeping my options open. I really am. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm interested to see what you guys think of this. Those of you who watched Awakening with me. So, um... Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.